Welcome back to the Sip the Tally Podcast. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at the Baltimore Ravens run defense. Now, I know we lost the game to the Kansas City Chiefs, 27-20, and, you know, they did their thing, whatever, 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 but we ain't going to focus on the Chiefs. I want to take a look at one of the positive aspects from the game from my point of view. That's the run defense. Now, Isaiah Pacheco, he's made a name for himself as, as being one of the tougher hard-nosed runners in the uh, NFL. He had 15 carries for 45 yards. That's three yards a pop. The standard in NFL is four, maybe four and a half, and you're, you're teetering to good to great when you're right around five. I want to take a look at the run defense and how we kind of held him in check. Even though we didn't win the game, I'm looking at positives that we can go moving forward. So let's take a look at the run defense and how we kind of held Pacheco in check um, Thursday in the opener. Keep in mind, the defense is just going to get better. Roll the intro. All right, so here we go. We'll start off with um, this play here. We're going to take a look at the all-22 view, then we'll kind of talk about it from a uh, what happened and what we did good and what we did bad on the end zone view. So it's run Pacheco. They look like they run a little counter, and we stuff it pretty good. And notice on this play, Kyle Hamilton is kind of in a linebacker role. And so you got all three safeties in the game. You see Marcus Williams right there. You see Eddie Jackson to the left. And you see Kyle in the box. Right beside Roe. So you see Roe in the middle. Malik's kind of like the, I want to say strong side, but he's technically, that's not the strong side because you got that tight end and that receiver on the opposite side, but you got Kyle in the box right there too. And they running a little, you know, little pool, some kind of gap scheme and Kyle's unblocked because you see uh, 74, I don't know if this um out of year. I can't remember. No, that's Jawah Taylor. That's Taylor. Him just kind of checking to see if anything's coming backside and leaves this whole gap open. And you see you got a puller going that way. Watch Kyle attack this once he realizes nobody's going to kind of close that gap off. Full speed. Shot the gap. Got a tackle. I think he only got like one or two yards on this. But look at the versatility you get out of this young fella right here. You got him in the box as basically a 4-3 linebacker. And look how he run fits. Run fits just like a normal linebacker would. The unicorn, man. Sees, sees the opening. See ball, get ball. Bam. Let's go on the front side of that play. Hold on. Let's see what they did to kind of ball it up on the other side. Look at Roger Washington. Takes on the double team. Calvin Noah gets inside of Kelsey. Kelsey don't even really try to block him. He cuts. He cuts that puller, which I think is illegal. <laughs> Malik's coming to try to fill that gap. He takes on the second puller. And Broderick Washington just defeats that double team. So good job, Broderick. I know we I, I know I've talked bad about Broderick Washington in the past, but look at Broderick fight that double team and hold his ground. It's a great piece of work. Great, that's great run defense by Broderick right there. Fight that double team. Hold your ground. Don't be moved. Look at Pierce. Stressing out um, Creed Humphreys. It's a great job by Broderick Washington, though. Great job by Broderick Washington. Fighting that double team. For one, fighting it and not being moved. And for two, not allowing a guy to get up on Roquan. Because one of these guys that's fighting Broderick is supposed to be blocking Roquan. And he's not. And then that leaves this backside open for Kyle to just shoot the gap. Let's go to the next one. Trying a little outside zone, like with a little slice action on the backside of it. And that slice meaning the tight end or whoever coming across the formation to maybe eventually go into a pass or something like that. I think 83 is going to be the guy that kind of do the little slice action. Run a little stretch. They got the slice action slash with a reverse for worthy, I think. With a fake reverse for worthy too. For. And that's just going to hold, hold Van Oort. That, that Both of these actions going to hold Van Oort. And potentially give him a cutback lane. Let's look play side. Got 
Good job of playing with your hands, Tavius Robinson. Great job of playing with your hands. I think this Tavius right here. Oh, let me get this off. I got the wrong one up there. Can't tell who that is, but I think that's Tavius. I can't tell. Let's see who that's let's see who this is. Watch him playing with his hands and keeping that edge. Yeah, that's Tavius. Good job of playing with your hands and keeping that edge on Taylor. So now, if Pacheco was trying to bounce this, he has the edge set. So now we look back in the middle and see what's going on. You see them chasing this reverse. Him chasing the reverse too. I think that's Wiggins. That's, that's Kyle and Wiggins chasing the reverse. So really, it's up to these front four to stop this run because the two secondary defenders are chasing the reverse. Or chasing the reverse action, so to speak. Rose getting taken on by, by Creed. You got Simpson just trailing the play. And because who is this that, that kind of, this is Big Pierce. Look at Big Pierce right here. Watch how Pierce fights the guard off. Watch how Pierce fights the guard off and kind of makes them turn it back. And when they turn it back, you turn it back right into a free, unblocked Trent Simpson. I like Trent slow playing it, slow playing it, slow playing it. And good job by Pierce of, of just getting penetration. Pacheco got to try to cut it back and try to get behind this wall because he do have a little wall, but because nobody uh, touched Simpson, he came straight down the line, made that tackle. I think they got like one or two yards. One or two yards. Good team defense. Good team defense. Go to the third one. And KC give you a lot of window dressing that you have to respect. And you have to respect it early because they ran it during reverse for a touchdown. So you got to respect that one address and they do with those reverses and stuff like that. But on this one. The outside zone again. See Matt BK fighting. Look at Travis. Look at Travis take over that gap. Look at Travis take over that gap. This is Travis Jones right here. Watch him take over that gap and run his feet. He won this gap. Now, look at that. Pacheco got to cut back. And look at what he cutting back to. You got Roquan coming. You got, I uh, want to say that's Tavius coming. It's a great job on this backside. By him cutting it off. And then these two guys pursuing. It's a good job, Travis. All set up by the penetration by Travis Jones, making him stop his feet. And you got Tavis on the backside, and you got Roquan there too. For about a two yard gain. It's a good job. Set up by 98. Set up by Big Trav, who played an outstanding game, in my opinion. On that one right there, like Travis on this play right here. It's, it's not going to ever make the stat sheet, but the fact that they double him and they don't move him is huge. This is Travis right here. Like, he don't make this play, but the fact that they double him and don't move him, that allows him to be free. That allows him to be free and to go make plays. Want those guys to eat up blockers. See, Travis getting double right here by Tooney. I think that's Tooney. And, and Creed Humphreys. No movement. No movement whatsoever. They don't move him. They don't move him. Now, Matter BK getting moved. <laughs> Numb they getting moved over there. But Travis, Stonewall. Stonewall. And, and because he's Stonewalling them, rolls free. And when Pacheco jump cuts, he jumps cut right in the row. But also, look at Oway. Look at Oway on the rookie. That's why I mentioned this in my little talk when I was out by the lake. We have to take advantage of this rookie. Watch what Oway does to the rookie over here. The rookie left tackle from BYU. Just disregards him. Jumps out there to block him. He never even looks at him and like he toys with him. Throws him out the way and go make the tackle. We should have been like handling this cat all game long. Like these other four, they're, they're solid. This dude right here we, we should have, like in the water boy, when the kicker was looking for his, his kicker, he's like, there's my, you know what? That, that should have been him. And not saying he's bad, but you, you get the movie reference. Let's go to the next one. 
Oh, same one. My bad. Here's the next one. I think they're trying to run a little pin and pull, but they're trying to get outside. And there's that man again. Oh, wait. This was a heck of a play by Odafe Owe right here. Here's Owe right here. Watch all the stuff he does to get to this tackle. Just, just to get to the tackle. Keep in mind, he's the edge setter. He's the outside contain guy. So the tight end tries to block him. Nope. 62 tries to block him. Nope. He ain't gonna make the tackle. Heck of a play, 99. Heck of a play. Tight end, get out of here. 62, nope, not good enough. Great job of playing with his hands. Watch 62's head pop back to show you how much how much leverage always playing with. Bam. Bam, right there. Pop that head back. Keep that outside arm free. Go make that tackle. It's a heck of a play by 99 right there. And what I love about it is, look at the pursuit. Look at Simpson. Uh, this might is, I don't know if this Mark or if this, this Wiggins, but look at the pursuit. Other guys running to the football. I love it. Love it. That's Marcus. That's not Wiggins. That's Marcus. But guys running to the football. Get in the frame. That's the that's what we say, you know, defense coaches say. Get in the frame. Get in the final frame. We got defense alignment in the frame. Tavius. J Jones. Get in the frame. They in the frame. Running to the football. But heck of a play by, by Oway right there. Trying to hit up the middle again. <laughs> Them D tackles, they held it down. Look at Travis. Look at Travis in there. I told y'all preseason, we, I expect big things out of Travis. First game didn't disappoint. Not a lot of numbers. But when you play down in the trenches like that, sometimes the numbers don't, you don't have numbers. Your presence is, is the big thing. Look at that. Split the double. They trying to double him, he split it. Not only did he split it, give me that tackle. Give me that tackle. Look at look at Matt BK taking on the double. Slants right into the double. Fighting with, with Creed. He he gets it so where 65 can't even double, so it turns into a one-on-one -on -one with Creed. I mean, just look at Travis. Just look at Travis. Just just, just get down in there with him. And split that double. Then get down there and make the tackle. Crazy. Crazy work. Crazy work from Travis Jones. But I just wanted to show y'all that like all is not lost. All is not bad. That the run defense was solid. You know, and throwing the ball, Pat is different. Pat is different. And we're going to get it figured out. We're going to get it figured out. But the run defense, the bones are there. We just got to fine-tune some stuff. Fine-tune some stuff and get ready for the Raiders coming up this week. And I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world. If you do me a favor, hit that like button if you have not liked it so far. If you are still here, hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already. And hit the bell so you'll be notified when the rest of these drop. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see y'all later on today. Peace and love, y'all.